Hello my gorgeous loves out there and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to do a little good old palette bingo. I haven't done this in a while and I wanted to do it with my Cosmic Brushes palettes, the Serenity, the Musée, and the newest Delicious Delights palette. But before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie and I am just a crazy lover of all things beauty and I like to post a lot of fun, colorful makeup content. I like to do a lot on any makeup, so if that is what you're into, then please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining this little family family, but with that being said, let's get into this video. Hello and welcome loves. I kind of switched some things up in the background. I actually spent this entire weekend cleaning this makeup room, going through palettes, organizing drawers, wiping down stuff, and just setting the background better. So I really like it. I mean, you might not even notice. It's just a few changes in the background, but I want to do a good old palette bingo. I love when I have a little bit of downtime where I'm not having a lot of new things come in. So it gives me a chance to play with things that are already in my collection. And I wanted to do a look with these three palettes from Cosmic Brushes, but I will like just randomly pick two colors from each palette and see what kind of look that I can come up with. So we're gonna leave it to the makeup gods to hope that I can make a beautiful look and that I actually get some shades that coordinate together. So how I pick the shades is I use this website called random.org. I'll just show you guys my phone screen like this because I'm not that tech savvy and like the whole recording my screen. And we're just gonna keep it old school. So I'm gonna start off with the Serenity palette and I'm gonna pick two from each and how I'm going to go by the numbers is like one through this way and then continue like that and that so on here you pick like the minimum to the max number so there's 20 shades in each so it's gonna be one through 20 and then I'll, I'll just show you guys this this is so bootleg and I'll hit generate so I got the shade number 19 okay number 19 which would be this pastel blue right because this would be 20 so 19 okay this is really pretty it's a very pigmented blue i just want to swatch them all out so i can see what kind of color story i'm going to end up working with i swear i hope the makeup gods are in my favor and then let's pick one more and i got number 15 so 15 would be this shade. Ooh, we got a deep matte, a deep blue. Should go perfect with that pastel. Ooh, okay. So far, we're doing pretty dang good, but I do hope I get some shimmers because these are mainly matte palettes, so I feel like there's a chance I might end up with all matte, so you never know. So now let's get into the Muse palette. So let's see what number we get. Ooh, sorry, I'm covering it. Number 20 which is the very last shade in here, which is, ooh, a beautiful purple. Shimmer, yay, we got a shimmer. <laughs> oh, I love this color story so far. I love mixing blues and purples. And we need to generate one more, which we have number 16, which would be this shade right here, right? Because this would be 15, so 16. Ooh, we got a light shimmer. It's called Antique. I don't know. This might be too easy. Sorry, I'm, I'm not trying to flip y'all off. Okay. Well, this is going really well. Now getting into the Delicious Delights palette. And we'll see what we get. So we have number three. Ooh, number three is this minty shade right here. Minty matte. I'm a sucker for a minty matte. We'll put it right here. Oh, look at that pigmentation. It kind of looks similar to this one. And then let's get one last one. We've got 12. So 10 would be here. So 12. Oh, we've got another purpley like lavender shimmer. Okay. I'm sorry y'all if you think this ends up being too easy, but is that not an easy color story? <laughs> it is, it really is. But you know what? We're gonna go with it, we're gonna roll with it. And uh, 
come up with a beautiful look hopefully so let me get a little closer i mean it's just so much easier when you're only doing three palettes i did a palette bingo with my it's bell palettes and it was a lot because i had so many of them so i did prime my eyes already I have the kaleidos tone activator primer on so i'm going to start off with the darkest blue shade that i got so this second one right here i always like to start off with the darkest shade that's just how i like to do my makeup routine with my shadow placement. So, let's see. I mean, I'm just gonna slap them all on my eyes and hope for the best. I mean, I have the easiest color story. Like, it's honestly ridiculously easy. <laughs> I've been overall pretty lucky with these palette bingos. So I'm just gonna say that makeup gods are always in my favor, at least so far. I feel like my cheeks look so extreme right now. I put the Juvia's Place liquid blushes and it's so easy to get out of hand with those blushes because they're so pigmented. But, hmm, stunning, of course, a deep navy. I love all these palettes. I've done a review, I think, on all of them or used at least all of them on my channel. So if you want to see more, those videos will be linked below. Should we go to the light blue now? Yes, let's go into Echo. And the serenity palette and use that through the crease i'm just taking this big fluffy brush just to sweep things through i probably should use a smaller brush than this but i've already committed but you see how like crazy pigmented their shadows are and their palettes are relatively affordable i think this is like a 20 dollar palette which to me for this kind of quality makes it very like affordable but of course to my budget i know maybe someone else would find that expensive but for me and like what you get this is like quality you'd see like in a 50 dollars palette so you definitely get your money's worth and i mean i just love everything that they've come out with they make the most beautiful color stories packaging i also love their highlighter formula too they're definitely an up-and-coming brand like they're doing big things for sure. So now let's get to the lower lash line. Yeah. I'm going to do some of the dark shadow, the dark blue on the outer corner. Mood. And just keep lining it up. Here like that. Take it pretty far in. Or maybe I should take it all the way in. So now let's get on to a shade for the inner portion on the bottom. I'm going to use this one right here, which was in the Musée palette, which is the one called Antique. This beautiful dual chrome, it's a shifty one. It's stunning. I feel like that would be beautiful on the bottom here, right in the front. I feel like I you know, could use some brightness because going in with like dark blues like this can be a lot for the lower lash line and can get dark really quick. Or I can make myself end up looking to bruise. So I'm going to spray the brush. Just so I can smooth that on as best as possible. Yeah, I like that down there. I like that a lot down there actually. Brighten the front part so much. It's such a pretty shifty lighter shade. So let's get into these purple metallics because I want to use those on the lid. So I'm going to start off with the darker purple that was in the Musée palette, this Whisper shade. I believe that's the one I got. Let me get a flat shader brush. And I'm going to just pick it up and wet it. Lately, I've just been into just wetting my brush. I haven't been using glitter primer lately. I don't know why. I just... I guess I'm just <laughs> lazy, honestly, but before I used to use the glitter primer all the time. But you see, that's a beautiful purple. And purples and blues just are meant to be, like... <sighs> that looks so good. So I'm just going to do that here. I mean, honestly, this was an easy look because I only had to work with six shades. And six shades is, like, easy what I'm be using my eyes or at least the minimum amount of shades so I mean I knew it wasn't gonna be that hard I just didn't know if I was gonna get like 
totally warm colors, totally cool colors, or just all mattes or all shimmers, because you never know, that could totally happen on a palette bingo. But like I said, I was lucky. So I'm going to clean this brush off with a color switch, and we're now going to go into that lighter shade I got right here, the more lavender shade that was in the Delicious Delights palette. And I believe it was this one right here, right? Frosting. Yeah, cause that's the only white bobbin or shimmer. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna use that in the inner portion, put it on with the same brush. This is a ColourPop brush, by the way. And I'm gonna pop it there. I mean, it's only a little lighter than that purple that I just used, but it's perfect for like, you know, adding a little bit more brightness to the inner portion, which I think is just so helpful, like opening up the eyes and making things look brighter and not too dark to have you know lighter shades in the inner portion. I mean, you can go with all dark shimmers too, that's fine, but just my preference, so. Huh, doesn't that look so good already? I do feel like I have to like clean up the mats. So let me go into the brush I was using before and go back into the Serenity palette and work a little bit on the edge of that deeper purple metallic. Just to make sure there's a better transition here. And I'm gonna bring a little bit more dark blue through the crease. And then I'm going to get a smaller blendy brush, maybe this one that's more of a pencil brush, and go back into the light blue echo shade, this one right there, and just kind of work it up here. Because when I go in with the shimmers, I feel like I kind of cover up some of the mattes, then I have to bring them back. So that's just what I'm doing. Okay. Ooh. And then for the finishing touch, we are going to use the minty shade as the inner corner highlight because who doesn't love minty shades in the inner corner? I'm going to take the brush I was using for the blue and we're going to just go right into it. Minty. Minty is my friend. And we're just going to end up getting like a little bit of a minty pop into the look. But I mean, all these kind of colors go so well together. So it looks like it was on purpose. At least I think it looks like my look was on purpose. So I'm just popping that there. I'm gonna bring it a little bit up into the crease. I think I should finish off the look, right? Put on something, lips, mascara, liner, you know, do something that matches this eye look. And then I can be right back to show you guys how everything came together. All right, loves, I am back and here's the completed look. I didn't do that much off camera. I just kept it simple. But what do you guys think of this? I think I did pretty good. I mean, this was like the easiest palette bingo ever and having blues, mints, and purples as your colors you, you know, use on the eyes is so simple because I mean, all of those colors go so well together and I had a good mix of light to darker mattes and I got a good amount of shimmers. Like this was a well-balanced palette bingo. I was very, very lucky, but I didn't do too much off camera. I just went in with the Mile High Mascara from, what is this, Wonder Beauty and I also used the Birdie Lashes Mascara. I just mixed these together and I feel like I just been into rocking my natural lashes lately and not so much into falsies because it's just so much work to put on and I've also been using a lash serum and I feel like it's actually working to make my lashes look like longer I'm using the babe lash mascara I think that's what I'm using and so far I'm happy with the results now what else I did off camera was I went in with this Udin's eye liner from their Solmonia collection and number eight I went with a pastel purple because I wanted to pull a little bit more purple into the look since I have a, a lot of blue that stands out in this look, so that's why I did that. And then I used the LA Girl Jet Setter Liner to create a wing. And then for my lips, I went in with this Urban Decay lipstick. This is in their Shine Formula. It's a beautiful, cool tone mauve. It goes really well with this eye look. It's a shade called Loco. I really love the Shine Formula from Urban Decay. They're glossy, they're comfortable, lightweight, very hydrating, easy to use. I have these in my purse all the time, but that's what I used on my lips. And 
yeah that's pretty much it that i did off camera so you guys will have to let me know if i actually nailed it with this look and did pretty good for this palette bingo because i think i did and this is just so much fun i love you know getting into my palettes and having to pick random shades and just come up with a look it makes me be a little bit more creative and you never know you might end up getting a color combination and putting a look together and be like wow i wasn't expecting that to work I love this and it gets you out of that rut of always reaching for the same thing over and over. I even do this off camera when I'm feeling uninspired and I have no idea what I want to wear in my eye. I just pull out my random.org generator and just pull random shades and see what I can come up with. But this is really fun getting into my Cosmic Brushes palettes and gave me a chance to use them on camera again. You guys will have to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of this look? Do you try out palette bingo? Like I would just love to hear from all of y'all. And if you're new here and you enjoy this video you like a lot of fun colorful makeup content you like a lot on indie makeup and all that good stuff then please hit that subscribe button and uh, join this little family i'd love to have you here also don't forget to check out the description below i will have all the palettes linked all the videos i've done on them if you want to see more from the palettes see other looks i will link the rest of my makeup like my foundation, blush, and all that good stuff. And I will have my contact on my social media platforms. I'm also on Instagram as Breezy Lifestyle and Breezy underscore Beauty. So if you want to join my Instagram fam, I would really, really love that. But guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, for being here, for being amazing, supporting me. I just appreciate you guys all so much. And I just hope all of you are doing well wherever you are in the world and just send you guys so much light and love. But until next time, bye guys.